What's up everybody? Today I'm going to take you through five of Washington DC's most luxurious neighborhoods. They're really, really stunning. There's a lot more than five to choose from. For the sake of my time and yours, I'm gonna keep it to five. As you can see by now, I'm putting out content every week and once a month, I'm doing these neighborhood videos. So if there's a neighborhood you wanna see in DC or Maryland, put it in the comments, I'll put it on my list and I'm committed to putting these videos out every week. So I'm sure I will get to it. And while you're at it, please subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified when the videos come out. So today we're gonna to go through Spring Valley, the Palisades, Calorama, where the Obamas live, Georgetown, and Wesley Heights. Really stunning. So let's just hop in the car and get to it. So the first neighborhood we're gonna go through is Spring Valley. Spring Valley is a really affluent neighborhood in one of the district's most prestigious residential areas filled with stately single family homes on generously sized lots. The price points here start above a million dollars and can go up to eight million dollars. The lots are larger than most parts of DC. They range from on the very small side, 5,700 square feet, but they can go up to one acre of land. Bedrooms range from three on the lower side up to eight on the higher end and bathrooms two on the lower end up to six on the bigger houses. Houses were either built in the 20s or they've been remodeled or renovated up until new builds in 2021. Fun facts about Spring Valley are the neighborhood has been home to diplomats and a handful of prominent politicians over the years, including Richard Nixon, George H.W. Bush, and Lyndon Johnson. Also, Warren Buffett lived in Spring Valley when he went to Wilson High School. There is some controversy surrounding Spring Valley. Although it's one of Washington's loveliest neighborhoods, it was also a site for testing bombs and chemical weapons from 1917 to 1920. So when we sell homes in Spring Valley, we do get a letter from the Department of the Army with a soil sampling that will confirm the levels of arsenic and make sure they fall within the natural occurring levels. So if you're planning on buying in Spring Valley, make sure you get that letter as part of your disclosures. There's a walk score of 51, transit score of 40, and a bike at Ville score of 52. The closest metro is Tenley Town, but it is a couple miles away. I'll put links below with all these statistics. So if you want to take a deeper dive into them for Spring Valley, you'll have the links there. But let's move on. So the next neighborhood we're going to go see is Wesley Heights. Wesley Heights is one of the most desirable of Washington DC suburbs and people tend to stay there for decades once they finally snag a place. Consequently, potential homeowners have to be patient when looking for their ideal future residence. Since housing so rarely comes on the market, homeowners will often need to act quickly when a home becomes available. Homes in Wesley Heights generally date back to the 20s and 30s, although there are also a range of newer custom built homes as you explore the neighborhood. Most homes can be characterized as being luxurious with large lots and a style that invites passerby to stop and take in their beauty in this posh DC neighborhood. It's hard to get a house in Wesley Heights for under 1.5 million and they can go up to 15 million. The bedroom count on the lower end is three bedrooms up to eight bedrooms. And believe it or not, for a $1.5 million house in Wesley Heights, you can get a house with just one bathroom. But generally, they have a minimum of three bathrooms up to about seven bathrooms. The population in Wesley Heights is 3,700 people. The median home value is $1.4 million. Niche.com ranks Wesley Heights as number one out of 118 of best neighborhoods to raise a family in Washington, D.C number five of 118 best neighborhood to live in Washington DC and number 49 out of 118 for best, na best neighborhoods for young professionals in DC. Obviously this is because it is so expensive to live in Wesley Heights. The walk score for Wesley Heights is 64, transit 46 and bikeable 54. There are shopping um, areas close to Wesley Heights but you do need to drive there. Wesley Heights was also developed by W.C. and Ann Miller, just like Spring Valley. So there's definitely some controversy if you look up the history of W.C. and Ann Miller. They um, were very restrictive on who they allowed to live in their developments. Fortunately, we do not have any of those restrictions today, so we can enjoy just the beauty that Wesley Heights has to offer. 
So we're gonna head over to Calorama, where the Obamas bought a house and also the Kushners live in the Calorama neighborhood. So it's quite popular lately. Calorama is less than three miles away from the White House and is home to 28 embassies, which is partly why there is such a diverse community of residents. The neighborhood, which borders DuPont Circle, also prides itself in having safe, pedestrian-friendly streets and several nurseries. The prices for single-family homes in Calorama start around $2 million and can go up to about $8 million. Square feet range from $3,000 up to $7,000. Bedrooms range from four to six, and bathrooms range from three to six. Calorama Park provides a nice spot to enjoy an afternoon in a comfortable community setting. Calorama has a walker score of 90, so you can really don't need a car to walk around and get your errands done. A 74 transit score and a 72 bike score, so it also is very bikeable. Just a very, very cool place to live, more urban than the previous neighborhoods that we drove through. With its marble fountains and postcard perfect avenues, Calorama is an upscale neighborhood that oozes old school charm and sophistication in Washington, D.C. This area is ideal if you're seeking a tranquil urban oasis away from the bright lights and busy streets of downtown D.C., but still want to be in, within its easy reach of the city's many amenities. It's also really interesting because you'll see different embassies splattered within the residential homes. So it really makes for interesting sightseeing as you walk or drive around Calorama. Let's head on over to Georgetown. Georgetown was established in 1751 and the neighborhood is one of the district's oldest, most iconic and most beloved. Situated on the banks of the Potomac River, Georgetown is a popular spot for waterfront dining, cycling, stand-up paddling, kayaking. There's a lot to do at the Georgetown waterfront. The neighborhood's narrow tree-lined streets are home to impeccably maintained row houses, some gated embassies, and walk-up apartment buildings that radiate charm, class, and sophistication. The price in Georgetown ranges. You can get a house for around $900,000, but it's gonna be one bedroom and one bathroom most likely. And they can go up to around 18 million. The square footage can range from 1,000 square feet for the smaller homes up to 11,000 square feet for the bigger homes. Bedrooms, like I said, you can get a one bedroom, one bathroom house for close to a million dollars in Georgetown. But for the higher end homes, they're usually six to 10 bedrooms and four to six bathrooms. The diverse and aesthetically appealing housing options are a huge re reason many DC locals opt to settle down in the Georgetown neighborhood. Historic row houses, unique walk-up apartment buildings, and new construction townhomes are all available here. You'll find large single-family homes on spacious lots, but they come with very steep price tags, appropriate for a neighborhood at the heart of the nation's capital. Georgetown has a walk score of 97, a bike score of 79, and a transit score of 56. There is no metro in Georgetown, which is one of the biggest cons, in my opinion, of such a bustling neighborhood in the heart of DC. The population of Georgetown is about 17,000, and Niche.com gave Georgetown a 15 out of 118 for best neighborhoods to live in Washington, DC. The median household income, according to Niche.com, is 122,000, but honestly, I think it's higher than that. Been a lot of movies made in Georgetown. Some that come to mind are St. Elmo's Fire, and of course you have the famous stairs from The Exorcist. I actually did another video just on Georgetown pros and cons, so if you wanna know more about Georgetown, just watch this video when you're done with this one. The next neighborhood we're gonna drive through is called the Palisades. The Palisades is a hidden gem among DC's many distinct and desirable neighborhoods. If you're looking for a home that has that quiet and relaxed vibe, but you still want that luxury, the Palisades may be the neighborhood you're looking for. It's got quaint tree-lined streets and a loyal, very tight-knit community that's proud to call this neighborhood home. The prices can start in the high 800s and will go up to about $4 million. Square feet for the lower price houses can be as small as 1,100 square feet and then they will go up to about 5,000 square feet for the renovated or new builds. Bedrooms range from two bedrooms up to six bedrooms, and bathrooms range from two, bed two bathrooms up to five bathrooms. 
Most of the homes were built starting from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, all the way up to 2021 for the new builds. The Palisades truly fits that small town and a big city description to a T. Like many DC neighborhoods, the Palisades boast a long, varied history. Once dotted with farms, it would become a popular summer resort area after the Civil War before transforming into the primary residential community that we know today. Some fun facts about the Palisades. They love their community get-togethers, especially the annual 4th of July Palisades Parade and Picnic, which has a reputation for being DC's best small town parade. And the Palisades Farmer's Market is second to none. They get the greatest, freshest produce straight from the source, and it's located on MacArthur Boulevard. Palisades also has an A rating from Niche.com, and if you're interested in more DC neighborhoods, check out this video on Egu Park and Chevy Chase, and this other one on 13 things you should know before moving to DC. Thanks for watching. Bye.